as you know your syllabus is completed and these all these classes are just your revision okay so today we are going to revise a topic that is heme synthesis and catabolism and related disorders i think this topic is left out from all of you and this is a very important topic as per your examination university examination and major of the questions are come from this topics so today we just revise these topics okay a structure of hemoglobin you already know that is a tetrapyrrole ring structure which contain heme molecule iron molecule at the central cavity okay so when the question is asking about the quaternary structure of protein then you will mention the structure of hemoglobin in detail okay if question is asking from the protein chemistry what is quaternary structure then you will give the answer that hemoglobin having quaternary structure and you will make the diagram okay but when we talk about the synthesis of hemoglobin when we talk about the synthesis of hemoglobin it is mandatory that you already know hemopoiesis uh, process occur in the bone marrow and degradations of uh, rbc occur at spleen okay so these are again a biochemical prospectus if we see the biochemical prospectus of this hemoglobin synthesis it is a chemical pathway chemical pathway means that's the cycle cascade reaction which contains enzymes which contain substrate okay so we are going to discuss this topic we revised this topic just too fast okay so you just uh, get the revision of this topic okay you already know the function of the hemoglobin that is major connective tissue of the body that provide all the essential nutrients to the cell organ and tissues for their vital functions okay so in this topic firstly we are just going to discuss about the biosynthesis of heme how the heme molecule is synthesized about its functions and disorder related with the biosynthesis when we talk about the metabolic biosynthesis or metabolic disorder these are basically we divided in two main two main things but first one is inherited disorders inherited disorders or congenital disorders that's ultimately means it is a inborn disorder in which the enzymes is absent the enzymes is absent okay discover about uh, you understand about the heme catabolism disorder of bilirubin metabolism and laboratory tests done to differentiate jaundice from this topic you already understand all this essential portions okay so let's see when we see the structure of the hemoglobin it is a uh, iron containing porphyrin and it is a prostatic group of several proteins and enzymes which contain hemoglobin myoglobin cytochrome p450 and some enzymes like catalase peroxidase and tryptophan pyrolase and porphyrin ring is coordinate with an atom of iron from the heme as i already told you that it is a tetrapyrrole ring structure what kind that tetrapyrrole ring structure okay i will also share the slide of this topic some uh, some of student give their mail on this mail i can slide this to, uh, uh, share this slides okay so don't worry about uh, about the taking the snap just to understand what is in this topic is topic mein kya hai ye samajhne ki koshish karo theek hai most most of the students are going to take a uh, concise material concise material means they are not going go through the topics when i will check your copy i see that some of the students what you write what you write in your copy you have very vast uh, matter of confusion that if i will ask about the primary transcript questions is asking in your exam and what are you write it 
you have lots of confusion. Why the confusion is created? Can you understand? Because you think, what you think, you will cover all the topics of exam, you will cover all the topic of syllabus of your exam within one to two days. And it is not possible. If you are trying to complete this topic within a week, then you are able to attend the answer very clearly. What the content is right. But what is happening here, you will complete your topic within two days. You are not go thoroughly to the topic. You will complete your topic before two days of the test. And some of the students before night, they, they think that raat to hai, raat mein kar lenge, kya dikkat hai? Uska natije kya hota hai, you have lots of confusion. Exam mein aate aate, likhte likhte sab bhool jate hai. Likh rahe hai, piche saaf ho raha hai. Bhool rahe hai. Uska disappointment ye hai, ki you have not getting the mark, appropriate marking. If you are not attended the question completely what the examiner asks, you will get half mark or less than half mark. It is not good for you. Okay? So, these are the structure that contain tetra pyrrole link. Why it is called tetra? This is a single pyrrole link which is attached with the heme molecules. Okay? Uh, there are several bonds are present. Methylene bridge bonds. Heme molecules showing a pyrrole molecule and atoms of iron in the center of profiling ring which is a tetrapyrrole structure, okay, tetrapyrrole structure and here in extra coordination bond there is the presence of methyl group and propanyl group, okay, so we are not go through this structure just going for the synthesis, now biosynthesis of him, firstly if the question is asking write about the biosynthesis of him, you will write the site of the synthesis, what you will write, site of the synthesis, site of the synthesis are bone marrow and liver, bone marrow and liver, it is not proceed in mature erythrocytes, ok, biosynthesis of him may be divided into three stages because this is a metabolic pathway, because in the metabolism there are two main steps, the first one is synthesis, second one is what, degradation, kisi cheez ka banna or tootna, understand, biosynthesis is what? There is a formation of heme molecules. Degradation is what? Breakdown of heme molecules. Okay? So, it is divided into three steps. The first one is biosynthesis of alpha amino levulinic acid from precursors glycine and succinyl CoA. So, these are the precursor for the synthesis of what? These molecules. Alpha amino levulinic acid. It is a very important molecules because these are the main substrate, main substrate for the synthesis of Hemoglobin. I think you will make also the cycle of this metabolic pathway in your pumpy. Because if you make the cycle of this pathway and with this topic, you will remain whatever you studied. Okay? The first thing is alpha levonic acid. This is the step first. Second one is formation of porphoblonogen, PVG. The short form is PVG from alpha levonic acid. Formation of profirin and heme from porphyrolobrogen. This is the last step. Okay. And these, all these processes are occurring in simultaneously in the cytoplasm and in the mitochondria. Okay. These metabolic pathways are proceed simultaneously in two organelles of the cell. The first one is mitochondria and second one is cytoplasm. Let's see. This is the mitochondria and this is the cytosol. Okay. The first step, alpha levulinic acid. Alpha levulinic acid is formed by the precursors. What is the precursor? That is succinyl CoA and glycine. When the succinyl CoA and glycine are condensed with each other, they form alpha levulinic acid. That is ALA synthesis. After the formation of this, this is the single step which is proceed in the mitochondria. Okay. After forming this substrate, this substrate going to the next, which, which cell? Cytosol of the cell. Okay? And after then, after the formation of this uh, alpha amyloidic acid, this going to the next step, there is a formation of porphyrolobrogen. Step second. 
Okay, student, this is a metabolic pathway. And in this pathway, there is how will you write in your copy? It is a two method. Isko ratalo, puri tarike se, lik lik ki dasbar dekho isko copy me, isko book me dekho, apni copy banana sikho isko. Iska koi dusra alternative nahi hai. You will kept in your mind that some of the steps are going to happen in the mitochondria. It is conceptual, okay? And some of the steps are proceed in the cytoplasm. It is conceptual. But for remaining this topic, you have only a one way that is you will is to aap rat lo dhang se yaad kar lo isko. Samaj me aara? Toki yaha pe yaha concept nahi jodta. That is formation of alpha level of acid. After the formation, it is formation of profilobulogen. Okay? And lastly, there is the formation of first linear tetra first linear tetrapyrrol. What is that? Hydroxymethylene. PMB. Okay, so in the next step after the formation, hydroxymethylene, there is linear titoporol. After this one formation of titoporol, there is coporphyrin formations by the enzyme of uroporphyrin synthetase. Okay. And coporphyrogen, coporphyrogen, second coporphyrogen, first formation of porphyria. After that, the enzymatic reactions, there is decarboxylation reactions, removal of carbon dioxide molecules. Coporphyrogen, second is going to the next step, that is formation of protoporphyrogen and protoporphyrin, and lastly, formation of heme by the enzymatic activity. Coparfurian co-synthetase, coparfurian decarboxylase, coparfurian oxidase, protoporphyrin oxidase and ferrochelitase. Okay, so what is that? With the reading of the name of the enzyme, you will understand which kind of reaction is that. Okay, don't disturb the class. I request to those students who will doing this kind of activity, please stop. Okay, don't disturb the class. Don't disturb the class for your enjoyment, for your laughing. This is not the time for you. Understand? Very important topic we are going to discuss because I know many of the students are not read this topic singly. After completing this topic. How many students read this topic? Raise your hands. How many students don't read this topic? Raise your hands. <laughs> Just close up. Okay. So basically, what is that? Hey, don't, don't talk. So what is, what is happening here? Just you see, there's single step are proceed in the mitochondria. Hey. It is a cyclic process. You understand? Single steps are proceed in for the synthesis of alpha, alpha levonic acid synthetase. Here is the formation of alpha levonic acid and most of the steps are proceed in the cytoplasm. Okay? That is again these substrate going to the next step of in the mitochondria and these all are the enzymes. So students what happens when these enzymes are absent? absent what happen? If these enzymes are absent, what happen? Singly I ask, okay, hemoglobin is blockage, it's okay. There is anemia, there is, but you will go through this metabolic pathway. If these enzymes are absent, what happen? There is accumulation of these superior substrate. These are, these are not going to uh, metabolize in next step. So what happen? These are accumulates in the body. Okay, and we, which time this is absent, which time this is not functioning well, these enzymes? In inherited disorders. And we call disorder as inborn errors. What is that? Inborn errors. Okay, so now in the next step, 
first you understand what is now we see this all the major metabolic pathway if question is asking write about the heme catabolism write about the heme metabolism write about the uh, heme metabolism you will make this diagram you will make this whole diagram in your copy simply when the succinyl coa and glycine are added with each other there is a formation of alpha levonic acid and this alpha levonic acid going to the next step for the formation of pore proglobulin by the enzyme active activity of alpha dehydratase okay and pore proglobulin dmna is enzyme there is removal of ammonia from this molecule there is a formation of hydroxymethylene this is hmb this is the first linear tetrapyrrole have you understand that in this metabolic pathway there are four steps first step formation of pla second step formation of pvg second step formation of hmb lastly formation of copa copo copo thyroidin okay these are going to the mitochondria and there is ultimately formation of heme understand now here your metabolic pathway is over because it is not uh, there is a several enzyme participate for the formation of heme you just understand from this thing. okay now in the next step regulation of heme synthesis that means if we talk about the regulation of particular metabolic pathway that's mean you have to regulate with the enzymes just like that like a room that it is the enzyme the gate is the enzyme and you will enter linearly in the classroom and going to the outside what we are doing i will came here and just close the door that's regulate the entry of your entry of students in the classroom such like that in the metabolic pathway if you inhibit the enzymes if you reduce the enzyme activity that ultimately you will control the metabolic pathways okay the first the first enzyme is alpha amino levonic acid this synthetase this being the first enzyme this being the first enzyme which can catalyze the reaction of which one succinyl coa and glycine okay and it is inhibited elastoically enzyme that catalyzes first step of heme biosynthetic pathway is a regulatory enzyme it is a feedback inhibited by heme so ultimately what is say in this talk you you already know what is feedback inhibition you already know i think okay if there is appropriate amount of heme is ultimately present in the body then there is no need of formation of new molecules so on demand if the body have normal level of hemoglobin if the body have appropriate amount of hemoglobin they are they are not going to make new molecules of amino levonic acid by because heme molecule inhibited ela synthetase enzyme if ela synthetase is not working what happen this alpha levonic acid is not formed so ultimately if this molecule is not formed heme molecule is not formed so elastically it is inhibited first thing now second one regulation also occur at the level of enzyme synthesis increase level of heme repressor the synthesis of alpha levonic acid decrease level of heme induces the synthesis of alpha amino levonic acid synthesis nothing to do you will clearly understand what is uh, what is say in this topic in this point that is it is mainly regulated by the by the amount of the heme which is present in the body okay the iron itself activated heme synthesis several drug induces the synthesis of hepatic als you will write this topic you will write this point in your copy it is important such like steroid hormone metabolism ethanol barbiturates this ultimately induces the synthesis als alpha levonic acid synthetase enzymes okay it is mainly inhibited by some of the drugs okay now next 
disorder of biosynthesis now all the disorders all the disorder are majorly classified on two bases the first one is genetic or acquired and other one is some kind of lead poisoning some kind of enzyme deactivation in the enzyme deactivation so student what happened what happened is just like that you all are the substrate when you enter in the lecture hall and these are the enzymes gate of the enzymes if we close the gate then what happen the density of the students in the classroom will increase if some of them is left out there is less so it is like that in your body if the enzyme is not working the substrate become accumulate in the body and when this accumulate they produce symptoms several symptoms okay so the the disorder may be genetic or acquired the most common acquired defect is lead poisoning and some of what happen in the lead poisoning they can deactivate the ala dehydratase and ferrochelatase enzyme ferrochelatase you know it is a enzyme in the last metabolic pathway you will see these are enzymes in the last metabolic pathway you will see protoporphyrin going to the next step for the formation of heme there is ferrochelates that is heme synthase okay so next step decrease level of uh, enzyme synthesis increase level ji to ho gaya theek hai now sign of lead poisoning the first thing lead poisoning you will write here the first genetic disorder may be genetic or uh, acquired that is lead poisoning elevated level of prot protoporphyrin in the erythrocytes elevated urinary level of ala and coporphyrin third why this ala and coporphyrin are excreted in the urine anyone can give the answer why it is excreted in the urine because it is accumulate it is accumulate in the body due to the enzyme defect defect enzymes are not metabolize this substrate this become excreted in the urine so during the laboratory testing by the identification of these molecules we easily identify this genetic disorder okay if these complex are confirmed in the urine then we say that there is a defect in the heme metabolism okay production of heme is decrease anemia you already know what is anemia energy production decrease due to lack of cytochrome for the electron transport chain etc x link sideroblastic anemia congenital disorder due to defect of alpha amino levulate synthetase sideroblastic anemia is the form of anemia in which bone marrow produce ring sideroblast rather than healthy red blood cell so all are related with disorder with the heme metabolism okay now i'm going to next slide so question is asking sometime sideral when you studied about the anemia there is a types anemia iron deficiency anemia sideroblastic anemia you go through the detail okay so i will skip this because this is uh, just revision so sideroblastic anemia is happen during the metabolic pathway okay now prophyreas question is asking what is prophyreas okay so prophyreas is what it is a group of genetic disorder that result from defect in enzymes of the biosynthetic pathway of glycine to prophyrins in prophyreas specific prophyrin precursor accumulate in the erythrocyte body fluids and in the liver so question is asked what is prophyrea prophyrea is what it is again a metabolic pathway defect in which enzyme is defected if the enzyme is defected these prophyrin are not going to the next step for metabolism prophyrin next step pe nahi ja payega 
जाएगा अगर प्रोफाइल नेक्स्ट स्टेप में नहीं जाएगा तो क्या होगा वो वही इकट्ठा होता रहेगा दे एक्मुलेट इन द बॉडी दे एक्मुलेट इन दाइट इन द आरबीसी बॉडी फ्लूड एंड इन द लीवर ओके एंड सम ऑफ द हिस्ट्री ऑफ दिस टॉपिक प्रोफाइल इज वॉट इज द पर्पल कलर कॉस्ड बाई पिंग प्रोफाइल इन द यूरिन एंड हीम सिंथिस डिफेक्ट फर्स्ट थिंग The prophyria is the rare group of inherited disorder from deficiency of enzymes or biosynthetic pathway of heme, and due to this, there is accumulation and increase in of prophyria or precursor. So, student, which test we done laboratory to identify this prophyria? We are checking the urine. In the urine, if this ALA alpha levonic acid and Or uh, porphobilogen, porphobilogen is excreted out in the urine. Then we say that the person have prophyrias. Understand? Agar ye complexes urine we identify honge, then we clearly say that it's a person having prophyrias. A prophyrias aap pe kai type ke ho sakte hain because you have several Step for the synthesis of metabolic pathway. Understand? If this copropyrin and propyrins are accumulate in a single step, they can singly divide it. Now we see there are two congenital erythropoietic propyrias and amino levonic acid dehydrase deficiency propyrias. Okay. Now we see the chart directly. I have not explained all this classification of Prophyrias, that is erythropoietic prophyrias and hepatic prophyrias. Two types of prophyrias. The first one is enzyme deficiency occur in erythropoietic cells of the bone marrow. So what happen? They can reduce the process of erythropoiesis. Erythropoiesis, you know. Erythropoiesis, formation of RBC. Hepatic prophyrias, enzyme deficiency occur in hepatic cells. Okay, so you can classify this prophyria on the basis of site of happening, where this occur. Okay, now with this cycle we understand this. The first one is ALA synthesis two. These are the enzymes which can involve in this prophyrias, in this deficiency of uh, synthesis that. This already you know ALA synthetase two, ALA dehydratase, co-porphyrin first synthetase, co-porphyrin second synthetase. You co-porphyrin decarboxylase. These all are what? These are the enzymes which can participates in this metabolic pathway. And if it is defected, it can divide it on this basis of that it is acute, intermittent prophyrias. It is hepatic prophyrias, congenital erythropoietic. This is erythropoietic prophyrias. What is happening in this condition? They causes abdominal pain and neuro neuropsychiatric symptoms. Why it is caused? We discuss. Okay, but in the case of congenital erythropoietic, there is photosensitivity. There is photosensitivity means the person become photosensitive to the sunlight. there is damage of the skin how it is damage okay chlorpyrin decarboxylase again photosensitivity symptoms arises okay now prophyrias caused by mutation these are all are the just acquired prophyrias what is that if there is a deficiency of these enzymes alpha amino levonic acid synthetase this which causes genetic prophyrias okay i will also send the slides to the mail of single students you will give the mail okay so from this you will read it this is late poisoning what is happening in the late poisoning this can invade the enzyme alpha ala dehydratase enzymes okay so all these are the symptoms so you already know in all these prophyrias this ala and prophyllogen are accumulate in the body and this causes some of the abdominal nerve and central nervous system resulting in abdominal pain and neuropsychiatric symptoms and these are the effects when these ala and 4 pvg are accumulates in the body this causes 
ELA uh, which causes conduction paralysis means this can induce the activity of ATPase in the nervous tissues and due to this the person become going to paralysis. Their nerves are not uh, functioning well. Second one, these prophyrogen block, uh, the, on the other hand you will take the pick of this slide. Enzymes block later in the pathway result in the accumulation of prophyrogen which on exposure of light auto oxidize and there is a formation of free radicals. You know free radicals? Huh? You know antioxidants, reactive oxygen species, RNS, reactive nitrogen species, these going for lipid peroxidation. So what happens? These prophyrogen which exposure or light auto oxidize to corresponding prophyrin derivatives which causes photosensitivity to the visible light and skin injury and these injury can activate active free oxygens which causes which causes damage to the lysosome of the cells and ultimately damage the skin ok so ultimately what I say the person who have defective profirin profirias these are very sensitive to the sunlight because during uh, these person having defective enzymes the profiria are not accumulate and not uh, metabolize and some of the components of these uh, profirias are accumulate in the body and when this uh, comes in the contact with the sunlight these derivatives causes produces reactive oxygen species and these reactive oxygen species changes lysosomal activity and due to this the person become the skin become damaged ok such kind of skins are seen of such patient and we call this patient as prophyria cutinia tarda ok now we can divide it, the heme synthesis effect of divided on the basis of enzyme activity the first one is Mutation of heme enzymes in heme synthesis. Accumulation of ALA and PVG definitely because if the metabolic pathway defect of enzymes, these substrate become accumulate in the body. First thing. Second one, it causes neuropsychiatric symptoms and sign. Second one, accumulation of prophyrogens in the skin and tissues. It causes oxidation and ultimately cause which symptoms? Photosensitivity. So, if I will say that the person who have, who have defective heme metabolism, defective orders of uh, disorders of heme metabolism, they ultimately having the symptoms of neuropsychiatric symptoms and second one is skin damage. It is become photosensitive. It is wrong or right? It is right now and you already know the cause that if there is accumulation of ALA and PVG, this can induce the ATPS activity of the nervous tissue and due to this there is a problem in the conduction and person going to paralysis. Okay, these all are called neuropsychiatric disorders. Second one, if there is enzymes defect in, uh, in profyrin metabolism, it cause prophyrias and in several prophyrias what is mainly lead? It causes photosensitivity. Understand? Someone may I can eat now? Nea. Someone lena carpea, you got really glana, someone may I. So, in congenital prophyrias, the urine of this patient become red because uh, what is that? Congenital means you nothing. That is enzyme defect again, and you know. Prophyrin are going to the several steps for their metabolism. And in a particular steps, the uroprophyrogen second are accumulates in the body and this causes a strong red fluorescence. These are what? These are the ultimately you can identify a different prophyrias on the basis of symptoms. Okay. These such uh, such kind of patient have such kind of redness in their teeth due to decompositions uh, due to accumulation of uroprophyrogen first ok such like skin lesion in the patient of prophyria cutinate ada ok 
Now, how will you manage this patient? This patient can treat only on the basis of symptoms. And these types of treatment is called symptomatic treatment. Okay? We are not able to induce a particular enzyme on this, on such kind of patient. So, how will we manage? We manage on the basis of what? On the basis of symptomatic treatment. First thing, and uh, some uh, uses of sunscreen regularly because if the skin is photosensitive, then sunscreen have SPF, that sun protection factor. SPF 15, SPF 50 is given in this chemical constituent. So, this can protect from uh, sun rays. Okay. Now, laboratory test for the detection of prophyreas, we go for spectrophotometer for the identification of prophyrin, coprophyrin, bilogen, okay, because these are our accumulates in the body fluids. We already discussed. Now, catabolism of heme to bilirubin. Understand? Now, what happened in the synthesis? We, we ultimately make the molecule of heme, okay. Now, after 120 days, the heme group of hemoglobin released during dying erythrocyte of spin and degraded to free radicals and ultimately bilirubin. We are not going to discuss all this, just to understand from this cycle that red blood cell is forming, ultimately hemoglobin is formed. After 120 days, these are going for catabolism, degradations. These hemoglobin is break down and it is break down. Hemoglobin is what? It is a conjugated molecules which contain globin proteins plus iron molecule. Okay. This going for globin. Next step is globin is what? Sequence of amino acid. This sequence of amino acid is break down into amino acid and this is reutilized. Re 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 reutilized means it is going to the process in molecular pathways like central dogma process. Formation of transcription. Translation. Translation is what? Amino acid are linked together to form a protein chain. Okay. So, after degradation, after 120 days, it is protein part is separated and heme molecule is separated and these heme molecules ultimately form biliburdin by the enzyme heme oxygenase. Okay. And when this biliburdin is going to the next metabolic pathway by enzyme biliburdin reductase, here it forms bilirubin. Okay. Yata clear hua degradation. Isme kuch nahi tha samajhne ka. Aapka hemoglobin RBC ki 120 days hai. 120 din baad RBC apne aap spleen mein breakdown hui. Us breakdown mein kya hua? Protein part alag ho gaya. Iron molecule alag ho gaya. Wo iron molecule ne pehla jo step banaya wo kya banaya? Bilirubin banaya. Wo bilirubin reductase ki saitha se usne kya banaya? Bilirubin. Now we will ask this. It is indirect or direct? It is conjugated or unconjugated? Unconjugated. It is toxic. Okay. Now what happened? We are going to the next step for the bilirubin metabolism. So it's occur, it's bilirubin metabolism occur in the liver. Now fate of bilirubin is metabolized and excretion of bilirubin occur in the liver and intestines. It can divided into four process. Students, the degradation of heme is divided into four metabolic pathways. Four steps. The first one is uptake of bilirubin by the liver. Because you already know these bilirubin which is make, which is make, is called unconjugated bilirubin. And it is toxic. So now for the transportation of this bilirubin, these bilirubin make conjugation with the albumin protein. Okay. Conjugation of bilirubin in the liver, secretion of conjugated bilirubin into the bile and excretion of bilirubin. So, on the basis of that, you again easily understand the clinical aspect of this bilirubin. What is the meaning of pre-hepatic jaundice? What is the meaning of hepatic jaundice? What is the meaning of post-hepatic jaundice? you will easily classify. Understand? If uptake process is not 
close it, what happens? There is prehepatic jaundice. If unconjugated bilirubin is X increases, what happens? It is prehepatic jaundice. Now we see with the cell pathway that is formation. The first one is hemoglobin degradation. You already know there is a formation of unconjugated bilirubin and for the transportation it makes formation albumin, bilirubin albumin unconjugated. Again uptake liver and these unconjugated bilirubin are enter in the liver by which transport? It is facilitated transport system, facilitated transport system because these bilirubin, those albumin molecules are identified and these are enter in the liver and these are, these are not a rate limiting steps, not a rate limiting steps. What I mean that it is not controlled. Okay, so next step is conjugation. How this molecule going for conjugation? There is the reaction that is liver, bilirubin has entered in the liver, they going for the next step that is 2 UDP gluconate enzyme, enzyme is 2 UDP synthetase. They forming bilirubin diglucuronide and it is conjugated bilirubin. It is conjugated bilirubin. There is again no methods to re understand, just retain it. That is unconjugated molecule is formed at, at hemoglobin. That is breakdown of hemoglobin is occur, formation of bilirubin. And these bilirubin going for further metabolism, enter in the liver by facilitated diffusions. And there is a formation of bilirubin which going for the next step for the conjugation process. Okay, after the formation of this bile pigment, after the formation of this bile, student, hey, be serious in the class, discuss karna, baad mein karna ko jubi. These bilirubin conjugated going for these intestines for further metabolism, these bilirubin diglucuronate, it uh, converted into urobilirubin, which being a part of urine color. Why the urine color is yellow? Due to the presence of urobilogen. And this urobilogen is converted into stachobilogen. Already you know the fecal color is yellow due to the presence of stachobilogen. And this fecal material is excreted out means your extra amount, your bilirubin is excreted out from the body. And rest of the 15%, rest of the 15 percent I am going to formation again this bilirubin. Okay. So, what is the normal level of hemoglobin? That is 0 0.2 to 1.2 mg per dl that is total bilirubin. And there is direct bilirubin that is unconjugated bilirubin is what? It is uh, 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 to 0 0.6. Okay. Understand and these all are the site for this degradation. That means bilirubin is formed at the spleen and then it is going to the liver by the blood and there is a process of conjugations. There is a formation of conjugated bilirubin and these conjugated bilirubin again, again going to the liver for the formation of next this bilirubin. So, student understand on the basis of that you will classify it. So, these are the steps bilirubin going to for UDP glucuronide transport, formation of bilirubin monoglucuronide by the enzymatic activity, transferase, UDP glucuronide transferase again and there is attachment of again glucuronide molecules and formation of bilirubin diglucuronide. Okay? So, these are the enzymatic activity. These steps are that. ठीक है अब यहां पे क्या हुआ डिसऑर्डर क्या है ये समझ लीजिए 
बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ये एग्जाम में पूछा जाता है व्हाट इज डायरेक्ट ब्लूबिन व्हाट इज इनडायरेक्ट ब्लूबिन दैट इज कंजुगेटेड इज डायरेक्ट ब्लूबिन सॉरी कंजुगेटेड इज डायरेक्ट ब्लूबिन इट इज 0.1 टू 0.4 अनकंजुगेटेड ब्लूबिन इज 0.2 टू 0.7 व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ अनकंजुगेटेड ब्लूबिन व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ अनकंजुगेटेड ब्लूबिन If we say diglucuronide bilirubin, diglucuronide bilirubin, it is what? It is conjugated bilirubin. It occurs in the liver. And when we talk about single bilirubin that is not attached with the glucuronide, it is indirect bilirubin. It is either in the spleen or in the blood. Understand? तो हमारी बॉडी में दोनों होते हैं टोटल जब टोटल बिलरूबिन की बात करते हैं तो वहां पे दोनों बिलरूबिन काउंट किए जाते हैं ठीक है अब डिक्रीज इन कंडीशन दैट इंटरफेयर बिलरूबिन मेटाबॉलिज्म में कॉज राइज इन सीरम कंसंट्रेशन व्हेन बिलरूबिन इन द ब्लड एक्सक्रीट फ्रॉम वन एम पर डीएल इट इज आइर अनकंजुगेटेड और कंजुगेटेड इट इज आइर इनडायरेक्ट और डायरेक्ट ओके so they causes hyperbilirubinemia when the value is exceeded from the normal one it causes hyperbilirubinemia and the causes may be what cause kya ho sakta hai increase bilirubin production ho jaye means aapki sickle cell anemia ho jaye aapka degradation of rbc bad jaye to wahan kya hoga aapka bilirubin excrete kar jayega kaun sa bilirubin excrete karega unconjugated इनडायरेक्ट ओके डिक्रीज हिपेटिक अपटेक किसी कारणवर से लीवर में इंटर नहीं कर पा रहा जो हमारा अनकंजुगेटेड बिलरूबिन है वो लीवर में इंटर नहीं कर पा रहा तो वहां पे आपका बिलरूबिन लेवल बढ़ जाएगा लास्ट वन इज डिक्रीज हिपेटिक कंजुगेशन इफ द पर्सन हैविंग फैटी लीवर फाइब्रोसिस ऑफ द हेपेटोसाइट लीवर सिरोसिस देट आर अल्टीमेटली नॉट गोइंग टू द प्रोसेस ऑफ कंजुगेशन दे कैन इंक्रीज द लेवल ऑफ बिलरूबिन टीआईबीसी टोटल बिलरूबिन लेवल डिक्रीज एक्सक्रीशन ऑफ बिलरूबिन इन टू द बाइल इफ देयर इज सम काइंड ऑफ कार्सिनोमा सम काइंड ऑफ ट्यूमर सम काइंड ऑफ ऑब्सट्रक्शन सम काइंड ऑफ ऑब्सट्रक्शन ऑफ बिलरूबिन दे अल्टीमेटली कॉज जॉन्डिस एंड वी कॉल दिस ऑब्सट्रक्टेड जॉन्डिस इट इज पोस्ट एपेटिक जॉन्डिस तीन आपके स्टेप्स है पहला स्टेप कौन सा है पहला स्टेप है आपका आरबीसी का टूटना बिलरूबिन का बनना अपटेक कंजुगेशन एक्सप्रेशन एंड अगेन अपटेक चार स्टेप में आपका प्रोसेस डिवाइड किया गया वेन बिलरूबिन लेवल ब्लड रिच इज अटेज कंसल्टेशन अबाउट फाइव एम जी पर डीएल इट डिफ्यूज इन द टिश्यूज पांच एम जी पर डीएल के बाद आपका जो ब्लूबिन है वो अलग अलग सॉफ्ट टिश्यू में जाना चालू कर देता है जिसकी वजह से हमारे स्किन का कलर कैसा हो जाता है येलो हो जाता है ठीक है उसकी वजह से द स्किन एंड द क्लेरा स्क्लेरा एपियर स्क्लेरा एपियर येलो इज ड्यू टू द डिपोजिशन ऑफ ब्लूबिन इन द टिश्यूज एंड दिस क्लिनिकल कंडीशन इज कॉल्ड जॉन्डिस और इक्टेरस समाइंड क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग वट इज जॉन्डिस वट इज इक्टेरस तो वी विल एक्सप्लेन it is a condition in which the skin color become yellow sclera color become yellow and it is by the excretion level of the bilirubin and the person having hyperbilirubinemia when the level of bilirubin is excreted from 2 to 0.2 to 5 mg per dl these become accumulate in the soft tissues okay this condition is called jaundice or icterus जॉन्डिस कितने टाइप के इट इज मे बी एक्वाइर्ड इनहेरिटेड हाइपरबिलोमिया लिसन हिमोलाइटिक जॉन्डिस हिमोलाइटिक है एस पर टर्म यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज हिमोलाइसिस अगर ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ द आरबीसी अगर हिमोलाइटिक जॉन्डिस इफ द आरबीसी ब्रेक डाउन इज मोर इट इज प्री हिपेटिक जॉन्डिस वाइट इज कॉल्ड प्री हिपेटिक बिकॉज इट इज दिस प्रोसेस इज फॉर्म बिफोर कंजुकेशन second one hepatic jaundice hepatocellular jaundice again what i say if there is fibrosis of the cells hepatocytes are not capable to form conjugations of this bilirubin obstructive jaundice it is post hepatic jaundice 
and there is a one physiological jaundice. I ask these questions to many students during the viva. What is physiological jaundice? It is neonatal jaundice. There is the liver of these neonatals are not fully developed for the process of conjugation. Due to this, bilirubin level is excreted out from the normal level. Now we understand there are the symptoms: Gilbert syndrome, Gregorian Najjar syndrome. Dobin Johnson syndrome and Rauter syndromes. These all are inborn errors, and you will read this about all this bilirubinemia. आप पढ़ लीजिएगा, नहीं समझ में आता तो आप पूछ लीजिएगा आगे, ठीक है? ये वाले टॉपिक, क्योंकि इसमें पर्टिकुलर रिसेप्टर्स जो होते हैं, वो रिसेप्टर डेफिसिट हो जाते हैं, ठीक है? अभी हम बात करते हैं प्रीपैटिक जोड़ने से हीमोलाइटिक जोड़ने से it is either sickle hemoglobin deficiency of enzyme G6PD, incompatible blood transfusions. So all this process, the cause is single same. That is destructions of the RBC. The rate of the destructions of RBC is increased. If the rate of the destructions of RBC is increased, there is formation of the bilirubin is more. And these are not going to the next step of conjugation, and this ultimately. These are excreted at prehepatic level. That's why it is called prehepatic jaundice. Biochemical feature increased plasma condition of unconjugated bilirubin. It is indirect bilirubin. Understand? On the basis of report, you can understand. Report ke basis bata sakte hai kaun sa prehepatic hai, kaun sa posthepatic hai. Se do student bata sakte hai, baaki nahi bata sakte. Padh lena ghar jaake, ठीक है? एक बार पढ़ लेना, reading लगा लेना. Increase the amount of urobilogen in the urine, absence of bilirubin in the urine, now hepatic cellular jaundice, we call this hepatic jaundice, the causes are hepatitis, some kind of drugs intake, cirrhosis, all these are hepatic jaundice, so what happened? You will Tell the answer. What happened if the liver liver is not functioning? Which process is not happened? There is no conjugation. There is no formation of diglucuronide bilirubin, which is we call direct bilirubin or indirect bilirubin. Direct bilirubin. Okay. So the level of the bilirubin is excreted out. There is no formation. There is no conjugation. Ultimately, the Conjugated bilirubin, which is direct bilirubin, is excreted out. Hepatocellular damage commonly have obstruction in the liver biliary tree, leads to increased plasma level of conjugated bilirubin also. Biochemical features all are same, but there is a symptoms uh, in the prehepatic jaundice. There is a no increase of liver parameters. Okay, but in hepatic jaundice. There is ultimately ALT and AST is increased. If the ALT is and AST is increased with bilirubin level, then you will confirm that the person having hepatic jaundice. And the causes may be different. Okay, post hepatic jaundice, common bile duct that prevent passage of conjugated bilirubin in the liver cells to the intestines, and the causes may be. Blockage of common bile duct. First thing, carcinoma, carcinoma of duct, carcinoma of pancreas. So ultimately, bilirubin is not excreted out. They can accumulate after the liver conjugation process, and it is called post-hepatic jaundice. What is called post-hepatic jaundice? Biochemical features increase plasma content. Ha. Huh. What happened in the post-hepatic jaundice? How can you identify on the basis of report? There is an increased level of TA, total bilirubin. Is it direct or indirect? Conjugated or unconjugated? Dono hi badenge. Understand? In this case, both the bilirubin, both the fraction of the bilirubin is increased because it is not excreted out from the body. Raised level of ALP. You already know alkaline phosphatase. That is the liver enzyme which is increased.
increase at post hepatic jaundice in the case of obstructive jaundice it is also increased the presence of bilirubin and bile salts in the urine bile pigments and bile salts both are not excreted out due to the obstruction and on the basis of report you can classify it now neonatal jaundice or physiological jaundice question is asked right about physiological jaundice in the biwa exam na asked what is physiological jaundice that is when conjugated bilirubin concentration in the plasma excrete from 20 to 25 mg per dl this causes hepato hyperbilirubinemic toxic encephalopathy or kernicter teres which can cause mental retardation because neonatal livers are not fully developed for the process of conjugation and due to this there is a increased level of bilirubin which going to the brain and ultimately cause encephalopathy encephalopathy is a neurotic symptom function brain brain are not functioning well okay but all these are happen in neonatal so you will understand this now laboratory testing we done new laboratory finding of different diagnosis of jaundice condition normal is 0.1 to 0.4 that is direct and 0.7 to 0.2 to 0.7 mg per dl that is indirect now we talk about indirect is what it is only bilirubin or conjugated is what it is diglucuronide bilirubin okay hemolytic normal and conjugated increased hepatocellular increased increased obstruction increased and it is normal urine urobilirubin increased decrease so on the basis of this laboratory diagnosis we can identify which one is hemolytic jaundice which one is obstructive jaundice which one which one is hepatic jaundice understand now these all are the inherited hyperbilirubinemia again some of the enzyme defect so i am not discussing all this dubin johnson ha this is very important sometime question may be asked which test we done for the identification of bilirubin this is the name of the test this is vendan work test vendan work test kai logo se baiwa mein ek question pucha gaya tha which test we done for the identification of bilirubin that is vendan work test or for the urine it is fausted test or elrich test okay these are the principle of this test you will read this i will give you the name of this test you will read this whenever you make the notes because sometime question is asking what is vendan work test and in which clinical condition we perform this test question may be asked it is a not easy topic it is a very important topic direct bilirubin indirect test in the urine pouchet test elrich test we done okay h test and peten coffer test peten coffer test for bile salts it is given okay liver alzheimer's are also elevated 